I tell you what, I'm kind of losing my voice. <laughs> anyway, losing my voice here. I'm out here in Green Dump, Illinois, waiting on some trains on the Sleazy X. Someone said there's supposed to be a geometries train. Apparently it does mathematics on the railroads. I don't really know what that means, but I know it's math if it's geometries. And then I heard that there's a Atlantic Coastline Heritage Paint Engine going to be coming through as well this afternoon. So I'm just kind of got my little lawn chair sitting by my vehicle waiting for them to come. It's a beautiful day out with a light breeze. I just wish the breeze wasn't blowing because then it'd be perfect weather out today. As you can see, my beautiful, perfect hair, all Albert Einstein-like. That means I'm pretty smart. Not on much, but I'm smart on a couple of things. But I tell you what, I'm out here enjoying the weather. Hopefully, catch me a couple trains before I have to go back to works tomorrow. Here's where I be. I'm at the east end of Green Dump. Green Dump, Illinois. How y'all doing? You'll be here again. I tell you what, I got my another package here in the mail. Hopefully it's more trains. It's a small box though. But let's see what's inside. And I, I appreciate the few of my followers sending me some train stuff. I really appreciate it. And if you want your train stuff featured on here or you got some neat stuff you just want to get rid of, I'll be more than happy to take it off your hands. I'm starting to get a pretty nice collection of train stuff. I really enjoy working on them and fixing them back up. So let's see what's in here in this here box. I went ahead and broke the tape. I haven't opened her yet, but we're going to open her now. Get that paper here out of the way here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. Train stuff right here. There's some decals. Let's see. Oh, good. I can use them. I've been wanting to patch and put CE and I logos on a couple cars. Oh, that's got the M and I, too. Awesome. Excellent. Let's see. We've got a Raider O, C and O Green Cur. I definitely like that. That's definitely my railroad there. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, B and O center flow hopper. Cool beans. Let's see. Yeah, center flow B and O chassis. And TP Mopac. I'm not much on Texas Pacific. I'll probably patch that out with those there decals. Put a different company name and number on that. Nope, there's one more thing in here. Let's see. Breath Alcohol Testing Unit. That's pretty cool. Little Freightliner truck. Looks a little bit big for HO scale, but... Maybe I could stick that toward the back and it won't look as bad. Well, that's a pretty cool little little van there. Well, I told that little box, I like that. Three train cars, a little breathalyzer truck, some decals. They must have knew I didn't care much for Texas Pacific and I could fix it myself. I forgot who that was from. Um, it doesn't say who it's from, but whoever it was, I want to thank you. 
that's an excellent thing for me and i hope y'all like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all later how y'all doing you better here i tell you what i went to a train show um actually it's been about a month ago since i went and i got a whole bunch of goodies and i have yet to take them out of the bag so i thought i'd show y'all what i got and remind myself what i bought and have a good old time so i'll right, be right back here and i'll show you the bag and we'll start unboxing it all right i got my mergers bag here look at that full of goodies here start with this box car it, it's missing a coupler it's got plastic wheels i'll have to get them replaced they said it was a scale trains box car i don't know if it is or not but it was pretty nice i don't even remember how much i paid for it but i've been collecting them breast cancer box cars just to have them i thought they was kind of neat looking Let's see. I know I got this one I paid a pretty penny for, but it was worth it. Paid $35 for that Atlas rail box, track for a cure cancer box car. This one has the handprints. They had another one, the same road number, but without the handprints. I'm not sure what year they put the handprints on there, but I've actually seen that box car in real life at Tuscola, Illinois, which that's why I had to buy it. And then I got this, looks like an XMKT, yeah, an MKT hopper here. They just patched out the MKT, which I'm going to use it and put my own railroad name on it. All right, here's the other one. I forgot about it, too. I got this for $5. I was pretty happy with that. Early in Daniels. Someone's already got the KDs on them. I just got to put some metal wheels on her. Man, I forgot all about that. That was a good one. Right, I don't even remember what's in this Walker's box. Ah, Staley Kid, another item I bought for five dollars. I just couldn't go wrong there. I tell you what, I'm gonna set that over there. That way I can get her put together. Now you ain't gonna believe this. After I bought several items from that one guy, he had the five dollar cars. He gave me this one. It was originally he had 10 bucks on, which I was happy to pay it, but he gave it to me for free. A Sulon flat car with an army tank on it. Now, you can't go wrong for free. I just got to put me some KDs on it, put some metal wheels, of course, on it. But you can't go wrong for free. I thought that was very generous of him. And then I got me this little... John Deere container here. Only paid a dollar for it. I'll tell you what, I got some good deals. I still got, looks like five more cars in this box here. Didn't buy no engines. That's too cheap for that. A chassis caboose. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but if I bought it, I bought it cheap. Like I said, the Atlas um, box car was the only thing I know I paid full price for. Okay, another round hat. That's a C&O caboose there. And it's got the metal bottom, so it's pretty old. I'm not a big fan of the metal bottom ones. I've been putting together some of them metal bottom kits, and I've been having a heck of a time shaving them down to get the weights to fit in properly. And then I got this car by mistake. 
It's a Milwaukee Road flat car, but, and it's got transformer load, which looks really nice, you know, I really like it. See, I didn't open the box when I got it, because I thought I was buying me a Mopac 50-foot box car. Because I've been looking for some of them, and I can't be able to find them. I thought, all right, here's one. Picked it up, didn't open the box, and this is what was in the box, which is fine and dandy. Mr. Stan Lassie came over there. He needs a little more work than some of these other cars. And then I got me another IC box car. Another waffle side. To add to my collection, it was only $5. And this one was $8. Sorry about that. Everything's falling over there. And a pair of ICG little two bay hoppers, two different road numbers. So it averaged out four bucks a car and you can't beat that. So you can see I got some heck of a bargains. I'm pretty happy. Let's see, I end up with four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cars in that little semi container there. So that's twelve cars total. And I spent, I think, 80 bucks. Yeah, it was definitely 80 bucks because I went in there with um, 110. Cost me five bucks to get in. And then I bought me something to eat for five bucks. So, yeah, I didn't have $20 when I left the show. So, yeah, I spent 80 bucks on 12 cars in that little container truck. So, I did really, really well, I would say, at the Sherman train show. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And you'll eventually be seeing these cars run on Mr. Lee's layout in Florida, Illinois sometime in the future video. All right, y'all, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. And drop me a comment in the comment section.